Hello everyone, welcome back to Lucky Loads 15 and I'll be giving you my Lucky 15 predictions for tomorrow's horse race in action as usual here on the channel. Before we get stuck into uh, tomorrow's action, I just want to apologise for not making a vlog the last couple of days. Haven't been feeling too well, I've been doing uni work, got a ton of excuses but I'm back now and I'll be giving you vlogs over the next couple of days. Also as well, straight after I upload this video, I'll also be doing and uploading um, my 2000 guineas special, so don't miss that, and I'll also upload a 1000 guineas special, which will be uploaded tomorrow, because I always get confused which way round they go. So it's always the 2000 guineas on Saturday, and then it's going to be the 1000 guineas on the Sunday. So we'll get stuck into those videos, and we'll upload them over the next couple of days, so don't miss those. Anyway, I'll I'll get stuck in straight into the action for tomorrow and our first selection is going to be in the 240 at Musselburgh and I'm going with a horse here called Suan which is around about 10 to 1 shot with bookmakers at the moment trained by Ruth Carr good trainer James Sullivan booked for the ride this horse ran a very creditable race at Doncaster the last time when it finished in third place and that was a good performance that day and this horse is only still four years old so you like to think there's still a lot more improvement to come from it and also as well it's won over the course and distance in the past and I always think that's a good thing when you look at Musselburgh when you look at the horses that run in there you always want to see some course form in the book also as well an ideal tomorrow was it's going to be drawn stall 14 so it's going to be against the stand side rail towards that side of the draw and over the five furlongs it's always normally positive to follow horses that are drawn around that area so I thought 10 to 1 tomorrow he was an interesting bet to kick us off and that's going to be my selection in the 240 at Musselburgh and then go over to Chepstow tomorrow where I didn't have too many fancies on their card tomorrow this is going to be my only fancy there tomorrow it's in the 313 we're going with a horse here called Statriano around about four to one but makers at the moment trained by Eve Johnson Horton who's really starting to come into form now her stable are going well Charlie Bishop but for the ride he's got a fantastic strike rate at the moment he's ridden nine winners from his last 81 rides in the last two weeks so going really well also as well, this horse won here as a two-year-old on its first ever start. And Eve Johnson Horton has got a very good record with young horses. Went off the bull after that win, but you like to think that there's still a lot of potential within this horse. And I bought 4-1 to one tomorrow. That was a fair price for the stable going in form. And also as well, the jockey book in as well, who is a red-hot jockey. So for me, I thought Statuano was a good horse to go in the 3.30 tomorrow. We then go to Cork for our third selection in the 6.30. And we're going with a horse here, if my French pronunciation can sound okay, called Chateauneuf de Pap. Around about 5-1 to one bookmakers at the moment, trained by El Marie Holden. Rachel Back Blackmore booked for the ride. This horse has been very consistent over its last couple of starts. It's won two of its last three starts. And the win at Tramore on uh, New Year's Day has worked out really well. Beat some nice horses called Lorena of um, Woody Mullins. That's not Lorena, Larina, which has been a useful horse uh, so far and looks a decent uh, prospect for Willie Mullins. Also as well, beating a few other good horses in that race as well. So the form of that win has worked out. And the win at Limerick last time was a really battle battle well hard and win and you like to think there's still a lot more progress to come from this horse it's by Flemings for a good side to be related to and I thought really tomorrow this horse could go really well so that's going to be um, my selection in this race tomorrow around about 5 to 1 bookmakers in the 6.30 at Cork now we go to our last selection to round off the video in the 7.05 and we're going with a horse here called Roundstone around about 3 to 1 bookmakers at the moment trained by Gordon Elliott Davy Russell is booked for the ride tomorrow. I should say this horse is the one by Fleming's Firth, not the previous horse. But this horse won a points point uh, towards the end of last year. And then it made its hurdle debut back in January. And something went wrong for it that day. You could really tell that it was travelling quite nicely. And then all of a sudden it went wrong from being in a zone of comfort to a zone of uncomfort. So... It wasn't really going too well in the end for Roundstone, but he's had a few months off now, and you'd like to think he'll be there in the mix tomorrow, and he'll be ready, raring to go, being trained by Gordon Elliott. Davy Russell booked to the right, who's very good, solid jockey book, and also as well, the colours are noteworthy as well, owned by Mr. C.J. Jones. Now he trains, uh, or I should say he owns good horses called Ordinary World, also as well, Paloma Blue, so... He does own some good horses and he's definitely a noteworthy uh, noteworthy owner to uh, look for. So I thought Roundstone tomorrow at 3-1 by Fleming, so a good side to be related to. It's definitely a good thing and I think it will light the three miles. So for me, this horse in the race was definitely worth taking on the favourite and that's going to be my selection in the 7.05 at Cork. Anyway, if you want any more horse racing tips 
please let us know in the comments box below on what you think might run well tomorrow. Also as well, please subscribe to the videos if you haven't done so already. Also as well, you can follow me on Twitter as well if you want to know why I'm not doing any videos. That's always the place to go and check out. So that's all I've got to say. Please gamble responsibly and we'll be seeing you soon.